Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to EU4 Cossacks with Byzantium, where we just took out Naxus because they were juicy. <laughs> Sixth development, just chilling here. I'll take it. It's the right culture, right religion. And we're looking at Crete next, but for that to work, I'm going to have to get some transports. So let's build some transports. Why the fuck not? The only thing I don't like about this is I had transports earlier and I got rid of them. But um, I'm okay with building a few now, I guess. I'll build six. It's not that much money. No, I'll build seven. And I think seven is enough to take out this army. He only has 5k troops. Um, you know, I can probably check and see what his general is, can't I? Economy, trade, relations, military, uh, army, ship, regiments. No, where's the best, best leader in the world? That's what I'm looking for. Best leader of the world. Bingo. Now, looking for country, I want Crete. Oh, my God. This is alphabetical. Why doesn't it say the name of the country? Jesus Christ. Crete? Crete is not listed. So Crete has not made their general yet. So we don't know his stats. Ugh. Hidden general stats. Could be anything. But he's tech three. He's a tech behind us. So that's, I think we'll be fine. I'll have to get access through Moldavia. No, I can just go through Hungary. All right, where are we? 100? Okay, come back. Let's get access through Hungary, and we'll go to Lika to pick up these troops. I'm kind of surprised the Ottomans haven't declared war yet. Byzantium gets a claim on Yanya. Wait, what? Really? Yanya is my core. This green stripe means yellow stripe is a claim. Green stripe is a core. This has to be a bug, right? I've I've got a core on Yanya, and it wants to give me a claim on Yanya? It didn't give me a claim. <laughs> I, um, okay. <laughs> rival Crete? Oh, wow, he just had rebels, too. I don't know if I can rival Crete. That's a good option, though. Let's check. Nah, he's too small. All these little guys are too tiny. Oh, the rebels won. The rebels won. Ha! Ha ha. Oh, glorious. Glorious. Now, if only Corfu could get his uh, Byzantine separatist rebels to spawn, that'd be great. All right, what's my diplomats doing? Uh, relations, I guess. Did he max out relations here? Looks like we did. Just keep getting relations up. I want people to like me. Oh, right. I needed access. Um, whoops. But you're almost done in in Poland anyway. So when he's done in Poland, we'll get access. Okay, that's fine. There's no rush because these ships take a while to build. They're only halfway built. Look at that. It takes a long time to build a ship. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder why the Ottomans are not declaring war. Oh, they're they're already at war with Dulcater. That's what it is. They're busy. They're busy. Germanyan. Germanyan. Who the hell is Germanyan? Some random nation that looks like the Ottomans flag is not the Ottomans. Oh, they have a core in Ankara as well. What? Who's this? Eretna. Saruhan. Mentesi. Aiden. Neat. There's a whole bunch of little cores down here. Alright, so the Ottomans are now at peace. Which means he's probably going to declare war, right? Alright, good enough. Ottomans is no longer a valid rival? Excuse me? I guess I'll throw Genoa in there. Wait, who hates Venice? Uh, Venice is a pretty good option. We'll do Venice. Okay. Why can't I rival the Ottomans? I guess I'm just too small now, but I'm bigger than I was earlier. If I'm bigger than I was earlier, then why was I able to rival them earlier? Castile declared war on Aragon. Rip Aragon. 
Rip, Aragon. Wait, did Austria join? Of course Austria joined. Oh, shit. Austria is now at war with Castile. Not sure if that matters too much, but it's a thing. Oh, the Ottomans took some land. You're right, they did. They took these three provinces. Ur Urzik, Urzinkan, Malatya, and Maras. So, you're, so they got bigger, so I can't rival them anymore. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I can rival, the, rival them again after I take Crete. Maybe. We'll see. Genoa opens for trade. Despite their open hatred of us and everything we stand for, the Genoese have allowed their traders the opportunity to make deals with us. Oh, wow. Okay. So for three years? Yeah, three years we get trade in champagne. What? <laughs> Why? What good does that do us? Plus 10 trade power in champagne for no fucking reason. <laughs> champagne. That, that's up here, by the way. That's up here. This is champagne. So we just got trade power in northern France for... Ah. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I did set them to threatened, right? Yeah, I've already got the Ottomans to threatened. How are we doing on favors, by the way? Six favors, five favors. All right, so favors are coming along slowly. Yeah, I don't know why we just got some trade up there. Hey, we got a core on Naxus though. Rah, Naxus. Ottomans declared on Wallachia. All right, so rip. Rip Wallachia. He's got no allies. He's toast. He's toast. Creed has collapsed. I think that means his army is gone. Is that right? If his army's gone, I can just declare right now. Creed. Zero army. Yep. All right, let's just declare. Does he have any ships? No ships. Okay, so yeah, we're good. All right, let's see if we can get there before March, because he finishes a soldier in March. I think we can. Yep, we're arriving in February. Perfect. His soldier finishes in March, so we're golden. Please don't need to waste my money on that. Okay. Oh shit. Uh ten years of regency? And a huge revolt in constant I think we're gonna just gonna change dynasties again. I don't I don't really feel like Cersei is gonna last here. Alright, what do we got? Let me turn off the fort. Eoistinos Choniates. All right, how good are you? He's a zero. He's a zero one two. 
He's a zero one two. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna let him win. The garrison refuses to leave the garrison if the enemy forces are overwhelming. Really? But you let me do it last time. Why can't I? What the? Whatever. They got a wall breach. That's that's fine. How? Why? Why was I able to do this last time, but not this time? I don't know. Eh, whatever. Yeah, but they let me... I won Bach. They let me do it last time. I was able to click this, like, earlier, just like an hour ago. <laughs> they learned from last time not to trust me. He's telling us to go outside again. Don't do it. Man, our, our Basilius died. He was 20 years old. He died at 20. Damn, that sucks. is about to fall. All right, so they just got the capital. It's gonna be two years, right? Yeah, two years until they win, okay. Is mine, baby. I would like all of your cash, too, if you don't mind. No, oh, he's got 137 ducats. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. I think I should put my army back in Hungary, but there is revolt risk here that I need to deal with. It's from negative stability, though, which we can make go away. Athens wants to be a protectorate. No. No. No protectorate status for you, Athens. But hey, welcome to the fold, Crete. Now, we can't next Athens till we get 190 Galatians. We're at 170, so you gotta wait. Wow, Valachia is gone. No more Valachia. Wow. They did not last long. So we're going to change dynasties again. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, the leader is going to be shit, though. He's going to be a 0-1-2. God, that's so bad. Oh, well. You can't annex Athens. You can't. Okay, now we can. Now we can. I'm going to bring everyone to Crete so that we can get this revolt under control. I don't need a rebellion on Crete. It took us one month to annex Athens. One month. You like that? <laughs> one month. Athens reclaimed, 10 prestige and 50 diplo. Nice. 
frees up a Diplo slot, which is really, not, really, really good for us. Uh, tech up time sounds good. Almost time for Tech 5 as well. Ottomans are not Tech 5 yet. Influenza. Gross. There's, de There's Tech 5. We get uh, Eastern Militia. Which is better than nothing, I guess. Hmm. Athens has zero autonomy for some reason. Oh, because we already had a core there. Right. Normally when you annex a vassal, they start with lots of autonomy. I think like 65 or 75. But if you already have a core there, then they don't get autonomy. States demand more territory. The nobles want territory. All right, nobles... I guess I can give you Crete? Sure. And now they're happy. I mean, I gave him Crete because Crete already has lots of autonomy. So giving them more land doesn't matter. Papal States will release Avignon and Urbino as sovereign nations and break alliance with Castile. Oh, cool. So the Pope has released Avignon and Urbino, and Castile now has no allies. Wow. We are still 13 months away. Okay. Also, what's the cost to raise our stability? 96. Okay. Okay, Poland's going to move his capital to Warsaw. Go on, move your capital. He gets three extra development there for doing that. Pretty good. And we have two diplomats doing dick all. Should probably do stuff with these diplomats. Uh-oh, the Mamluks have set us to hostile. Ugh. Due to their ambitions to conquer all or one of their provinces. Does that mean the Mamluks' ambition or Byzantium's ambition? And this is one of the problems I have with pronouns. The Mamluks view Byzantium with open hostility due to their ambitions to conquer some or all of their provinces. Whose ambitions? The Mamluks' ambitions or Byzantium's ambitions? This doesn't tell you. It's too vague. Uh, we can check this window to see what their ambitions are. They want Crete. I see. And my ambitions? I want Cyprus. Okay, I don't have anything of the Mamluks set red, but he has uh, Crete set to red. So he wants Crete. I guess that makes sense. Well, the Mamluks can't have Crete, damn it, it's mine. Mine, 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 mine. I called dibs and everything. I called dibs. All right, I'm gonna lower funding on the army because we don't really have any revolt risk right now. There's a little bit. Okay, we've maxed relations, and he doesn't want our marriage back. Well, that's just too bad. Let's go back to the Austrians and top off Hungary as well. Poland, I think we, re yeah, we recently topped off Poland. What about Muscovy? We can do a little bit with Muscovy. I just want to keep everyone happy if possible. It may not be possible, but I mean, it's worth a shot. Oh, we have a trade ship now. Do I need a trade ship? I mean, I guess it can't hurt. We're still losing two ducats a month, though. Advisors, we're paying for our capital fort. Army maintenance. Oh, we're over the force limit. Oh, those three dudes we picked up from Athens. All right, I didn't realize. There we go. That'll help a lot. Still losing money. 
We're not over our force limit at all. Oh, it's our capital. Right, right. It's our capital. Our capital was siege, and that's the main source of our money. So just got to wait for that to come on siege. That's all. I mean, it's the most obvious fucking thing, right? Set Muscovy to friendly? Oh, that's a good idea. I did forget to do that. Thank you. There we go. Looks like the Mamluks have started beating up QQ. Attacking QQ, Mamluk in conquest of Rabba. So the Mamluks are getting stronger. This is good. I would love to see the Mamluks actually succeed in a war against the Ottoman Turks. That'd be amazing. Uh, what is this? Rebels are close to enforcing their demands. So we're six months away? Yeah. Six months away. Cool. Congratulations, Eos... Eos... Eostinos Choniates? God. He's such a bad king, too. Hopefully we kill him off. Wow, this is the second coup in less than 20 years. We're getting coups all the time, man. Alright, our cores are in. So, raising stability now costs... 90. I'm just going to get stability back up to zero. Why not? Alright, three months away. So I can't reach Corfu. I can't fabricate because this little sea tile, this border, means I can't fabricate across that border. He still has no allies. I mean, I could ally him. No, he won't. Hmm. Rose is allied to Venice. I really don't want to go to war with Venice. I guess I could fabricate on Cy I might as well fabricate on Cyprus. Like, there's no reason not to. Everyone has already fabricated on him. I might as well, too. All right. Say goodbye to our dynasty. We got discovered, so I'm just going to send him again. Come on, hurry up. Give me my... There we go. Cersei has died. Okay. You are 20 years old. Still losing money? Really? Okay, that, that's better. <laughs> it just wasn't taking into account. Okay, we're good. We're good. Making money again. Now what we need is... Um, well, we need a war with the Ottomans. We need a defensive war with the Ottomans. dock up in Crete. I think Crete is a little safer than Morea. Um, so long as I keep my entire army there, Crete's pretty safe. Let's go pick up the, the other stack over here. Well, then again, I can't participate in any of the wars. I can't participate in the battles if I don't have my troops down. Like, I can't run from Crete to anywhere. Hmm. No, I guess they shouldn't be in Crete. All right, I'm going to wait for the unrest to go away, and then we'll move our troops out of here. Karaman has rivaled us. Okay. Can I rival the Ottomans again? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Could start fabricating on Kandar. Uh, but he is allied to Karaman. When is our warning gone? When is our warning gone? 65. Th five more years of this stupid warning. Gross. What is this? Florence is in, in Zagreb. What is going on? 
Defender against Florence, the Florentine conquest of Siena. Oh, oh wow. Hungary is sieging Florence's capital. Oof, juicy. Put the leader in an army, give him extra chance to die. It's a good idea. He's actually a pretty damn good general. A three shock, two siege general. That is boss at the start of the game. Uh, but you are right. I want to kill him as soon as possible. All right. Well, who else can I get relations with? Maybe France? Just going down the list of powerful people. Persia, even? Sure. Aw, oh, Castile's getting steamrolled now. They have no allies. Why would they declare this war? They declared against Austria, Naples, and Aragon. And they're getting crushed. They have no allies. Why would they do this? The Ottomans will warn us again immediately? I hope not. I hope that isn't how it works. There should be a delay. Like, if, if the nation warns you not to go to war, and they did at the start of the game, that goes off in 20 years, I think, the last 20 years. At that time, they should have like a 10-year period where they cannot make that demand. They cannot tell you not to go to war because they just did. So they shouldn't be able to do it right away. If they do, then that's just stupid. Hmm, local taxes plus 40%. How much money do we make off taxes? Uh, it's the majority of our income. Hmm, tempting. Could go for trade as well. 50% local trade power. Hmm, that's pretty good. Yeah, give me a trade building. Oh, we're out of time? All right, well, let me wrap it up then. Thanks for watching, everyone. I have been Shen. You have been you. We've conquered Naxos and Crete. Greece grows stronger every day under the guise of Byzantium. We have our third dynasty. I can't believe it's it's been 15 years. No, not 15 years. 17 years. And in 17 years, we've had three dynasties already. Can you believe that shit? It's crazy. Anyway, I will see you next time where hopefully the Ottomans will declare war and we'll have Hungary and Poland helping us out. Although it looks like Hungary would be less than useful right now. He's kind of busy fighting Italy. Anyway, I'll see you later. Have a good day.